Yes YouTube and welcome back to Contemporary Collectibles. Today we're going to be cracking another box of OPO5 but this time we're going to be going through it a lot faster. We're going to be checking, we've already had a look at the cards in the last video, we're going to be checking out what texture cards we can get, what do they look like, what leaders can we pull hopefully. Um, so yeah without further ado, get yourself a cup of tea and put your feet up and if you like this content hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Guys, enjoy, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's crack open this bad boy. Now, like I said, we're going at a bit of a faster pace than we did last time. We're checking out some of the cards, reading out the abilities. Now we've got that over and done with. We're going to be seeing what are the juicy hits that we can add to our collections? Here we go. And for this, I'm going to be cracking. There we go. Okay. There we have it. What a beautiful sight to see. And here we go, guys. If you like this content, if you like this kind of one piece talk we're doing, then hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Okay guys, here we go. Like I said, we're going through these pretty fast. So if you want to have a look at the cards in proper detail, then please check out the previous video that I posted. Um, and you can find that in the description. Okay, nothing in the first pack. Moving on to the second. So I'm interested to see what is your what's what's your feeling on the on the set? What's your sentiment? Are you enjoying it? Are you liking the the new the new leaders, the new decks? Are you liking the art of the cards, the feel, the the the, um, the aura? There's our first super rare. We have Sabo. Um, do you think it lives up to the hype? Let me know down in the comments. I read all comments. I'll reply to your comment as well because. I like engaging, I like building connections, and at the end of the day, we're all part of the One Piece community, so why not be friendly and interactive with each other? Okay, moving on. So, nothing from the first two packs. Shirohoshi, and there is our Don card. In my opinion, the nicest Don card that they've released so far, by a mile actually, it is fantastic. And what an amazing scene, what an amazing scene. In the, in the anime. Not as good as the first Red Rock on Kaido when he appears up on the rooftop. Oh my god. When he's just beaten. I don't wanna I don't wanna give it I don't wanna give anything away, but you you know the one I mean. You you do know the one the, the one I mean. Okay, moving on. Holly, Bellamy, we have Mari Jose, Elthor, Franuski, and another Sabo, double Sabo Super Rares. Moving on to the next pack. Okay guys, here we go. So the entire One Piece set has been absolutely erupting. Um, we may see a little correction now that OPO5 has actually released or not. Who knows? Okay, nothing in the first few packs. Um, I mean, the rarity <clears throat> is still there for the, the first set in particular. It all depends on what band I do. Let's, let's put it like that. If Bandai decide to reprint everything into Oblivion, then it'll scare all the collectors away. Nothing will be worth it, anything anymore. Um, and yeah. Whereas if they are very selective um, and they play a very good balance between players and collectors, a lot of people are players and collectors like me, but there are people who just collect and there are people who just play and that's where the problem arises. Um, because some people want the cards to be cheap and the other community wants the cards to be expensive because they, you know, they might have purchased singles or they may, they may be holding them, hoping that they appreciate in value down the line. And I mean, both, both, um, both communities are, are more than entitled to do that. That's what whole people who have a go at um, collectors, you need to remember this is a trading card game. This is a collectible card game. And they're doing as intended, they're collecting. And it's fantastic to collect cards. I mean, who doesn't? That's why the TCG world 
it has a billion, billion, billions of dollars of turnover each year. Um, it's just finding the right balance, and I hope Bandai do that. Okay, oh, and there is our first textured hit. We have the 10 drop Kaido. Really nice. So on play, draw four cards if your opponent has three or less life cards. Fantastic. Look at that. That is so, that's amazing. That's really cool art. Okay, guys, prices will be on screen. What I'll say about prices is just, if you're buying loads of singles at the moment, be careful because the set has only just come out. Prices always take time to stabilize upon when a set's been released, there's hype, and then it slowly falls as the correct price is found for those for those cards because it might be too expensive or too cheap and when they've bottomed then you'll start to see an appreciation so if you're buying right at the beginning just be careful uh, and know that the cards may correct in the coming weeks or months sometimes even years um, as was the case with opo1 and opo2 to us um, OPL1 I'd say more so than OPL2 as we can see that 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 set has been pumping right now because um, the price has kind of bottomed and rebounded okay so moving on can we get anything from this box and there we have a super rare Enel from the Sky Island or Skypea as I like to say um, deck Skypea is obviously what the the Japanese um, version say in the anime I only watch the Japanese anime I believe subtitle um, the English one is blasphemy <laughs> just because just because the Japanese voice actors are just fantastic um, like that's that's how they should sound um, but it, it would sound a bit different it would sound a bit different and that's what it's like when I hear the English version of, of Luffy speaking and Zoro. Uh, so we have a Hina and we have an event card. Um, okay, moving on. Um, I've recently started playing Ghost of, Ghost of Tsushima um, and I found, I discovered very quickly that Zoro does the voice acting for the main character, the Japanese um, voice acting, which is amazing. I feel like I'm just running around playing Zoro now. Um, as a samurai. Oh, nice! And there's a super drop, super rare um, purple Trafalgar Law. Really cool, bit off centered. Um, but that's a nice hit on the left. Okay, guys. Right hand side. Let's get through these. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I found out. When I, I, well, I knew it straight away because I could hear him, but it makes it all the more sweeter chopping up Mongols knowing that you're playing as uh, Zorro. <laughs> okay, Beppo, and there's another super rare Pika. Next pack. Um, I did also buy this thing in the background, uh, if you can see it just here. This is the um, double set two, uh, double pack set two. So what it has in there, it has two, two booster packs, and it also has a Don card as well, and there's a card case in it, so. Um, have a look in there, I'll probably do a shot on that. Uh, and we have the Revolutionary Army, Karasu. Okay, we've only had one textured card so far. I'm holding out for a leader card. That would be in insane. Um, come on. Give us something good. Chaka, there's the leader Enel, and s not super rare, um, Shura for Sky Pier. He's one of the three vessels. Okay. Basil Hawkins, Jim Bay. We have Amazon, two million volts, and a baby five. Okay, how many packs do we have left? We're not even halfway down through the third stack yet. Okay. So guys, if you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you so much for all your support. Everyone who's been subscribing, liking, commenting, 
thank you. I absolutely love the interaction, so thank you so much. Whoa, we have another Kaido. Oh, ooh, actually, this might be... Um, so one of them is going to be... It's the same... Oh, okay, okay, hold on. So... It's the same card. This is clearly like the secret rare Katakuri and the alternate of that secret rare. And I imagine it's the same kind of thing here. Um, awesome. Really cool. Double Kaido pulls. Okay, we take those all day. Um, I have to say, I think I prefer the the first one that we pulled. Um, I'm not sure which is the more the rarer of the two. Like I said, I've been keeping spoilers to a minimum. I want to learn as I'm cracking packs the good old fashioned way. Um, but I will obviously have a look after the video and find out what's what. I'll look at the set list. Can we get anything else from this box as a super rare kid? Oh, I really want a leader card. Come on. Come on, come on. That was unexpected. Um, this is what happens when you don't look at spoilers, guys. You get nice surprises. Um, okay, Onami, Sabo Leader, and then Isho. How many packs do we have left? Five packs left, guys. Not long to go. Let's fly through these and pray to Ichiro himself that we get something cool. Okay, Charleston. Satori, Fire Fist, and Satori. And there's our second Don card. Um, at the top of Onigashima. Okay, moving on. Oh, Robbie, this is the fourth to last pack. Pell, Gamma Knife. And Zoro Jero. We pulled the all art version, the textured version of this card in the uh, the first video that came out before this one. If you want to have a look at that guys, pull some really cool cards actually. Um, no leader cards unfortunately. Okay, come on, third to last pack. I've had a all art Katakuri in the very last pack before. Can we do it this time? And there is our third textured card six drop 7k sabo unplayed k up to two of your opponents okay so it's the all art version of a rare i believe very nice very cool and i believe that's going to be everything for this box which means there's probably going to be nothing in these two packs again that's Always be skeptical of buying packs online, because, especially on eBay, TCG Play, places like that, because we've had our quota of pulls from this box. And what a lot of scummy people do is they'll sell the rest of the packs knowing there's not there's nothing in them. So yeah, just just beware of buying uh, single packs. Buying singles is fine at the right price. It's it's packs. Um, individual packs that's what you should be really cautious of so I'm guessing there's nothing in here but we'll slow roll it anyway for dramatic effect that's cool trying to rain let's say okay last pack super rare Rob Lucci oh this is actually pretty decent um, on play look at you may place three cards from your trash at the bottom of your deck K.O. to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of two or less and it's one of your opponent's characters with a cost of one or less. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty nice board clear, clearing tactic. Okay, guys, and that is all for today. I'm gonna get the three textured cards out. Um, okay, so here are the um, the two Kaidos that we pulled. I, I'm pretty sure this one is the more is the rarer one, the, the bigger hit. Um, awesome, really, really cool. Absolutely love these cards already. They'll be going straight into a sleeve after this. And finally, we have the Sabo. Awesome card. Okay guys, 
Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around. There's going to be loads more OPO5 content on the way. I've had another. I've got six boxes on the way. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I really appreciate all the help that you've been giving, all the support. I'm hoping you're getting some entertainment from these videos. That's the ultimate goal. If you get, if you've enjoyed, if, if it passes some time on a lunch break, whatever, then I've done my job. Okay guys, peace. I'll leave you to it. Catch you in the next one.